News. Live from Adelaide, 7 News with Elspeth Hussey. Good afternoon. SA Health is bracing for a surge in bookings tomorrow morning as those under 40 become eligible to get a Pfizer jab. But there are no appointments available for at least the next month or two as South Australia awaits more supplies from the federal government. From 9am tomorrow, young South Australians living in metropolitan Adelaide will, for the first time, be able to book in for a jab at one of the state's mass vaccination hubs. It's an announcement 25-year-old Daniel Huggett has been waiting for. I wouldn't be surprised if a website crashes because, yeah, there is going to be a big surge in views on SA Health tomorrow. He was a travel agent prior to COVID and believes the jab will be his ticket to flying overseas again. But at the moment, just travelling interstate is tough, even for those who live on the borders. I know that many people feel that this is unfair. We're trying to get as many people back across uh, the New South Wales border as possible, but we've got to be prudent. Prudent too now for those who land in hotel quarantine after this man walked out and had a night enjoying burgers and beer in what's been described as the state's worst breach. Every month goes by, we hear about another hotel quarantine breakdown or, or a security measure not being adhered to. That's why we need purpose-built quarantine. Instead, the government's focused on vaccination after receiving a small portion of the one million Pfizer doses the Commonwealth secured from Poland overnight. This is an additional 50,000 Pfizer doses going into the arms of South Australians. One quarter of SA's population is fully vaccinated, but with more people becoming eligible, it's predicted we'll have 80% double-dosed before Christmas. A home has been destroyed in a suspected arson attack in the northern suburbs. Neighbours have told how they watched on in disbelief as flames engulfed the property. Nathan Regder has the details. The damage here is simply devastating. As you can see, the fire has torn through the property, destroying everything in its path, leaving the home in ruins. The blaze erupted just before 4.30 this morning. Helpless neighbours on Nut Street watched on as flames slowly devoured the Elizabeth Downs home. I heard crashing and banging come out the front door and the place was on fire. Noticed that the front room and side room was on fire and then called the fire brigade and they were around in about six, seven minutes. It took firefighters 40 minutes to bring the flames under control, but the property was unable to be saved. No one was home at the time. Police are treating the fire as suspicious. It's bloody ridiculous. I mean, people coming around here and just lighting bloody fires for some unknown reason. Neighbours say the man who lived here had moved out weeks ago to go and live with his father. They say he returned briefly yesterday afternoon to clean out the rest of the house. He's been loading up stuff for the last um, two, three weeks. Wake up and see three, four fire trucks at the front of your house and your next door neighbour's house is on fire after you just saw him moving. That's pretty scary. Authorities are investigating but say whatever started this blaze still remains a mystery. The damage bill is estimated at $250,000. Police are hunting for thieves who robbed the Rebel Sports Store at the Jeps Cross Homemaker Centre this morning. They smashed in the front doors around 5am, making off with clothes. A dark-coloured car was spotted leaving the scene, but the suspects remain on the run. Police have charged two men over a shocking road rage incident in Pirrie Street, which saw a man stabbed. They've charged the 24-year-old driver of a Mercedes, which collided with a Camry yesterday afternoon. He's facing a raft of charges, including driving while disqualified. Another man has also been charged in connection with the incident. An investigation's underway into a violent incident on a train in the southern suburbs. A verbal stoush turned into a brawl with a man knocked out and his head hitting a wall. It happened around six o'clock on Friday night. The 33-year-old victim from Christie Downs had to be taken to hospital for treatment. Police are appealing for any witnesses to come forward. Well, our next rounds of great state travel vouchers have just been announced. They'll focus on experiences and accommodation. And as Rosie Barnett reports, 75,000 are up for grabs. 
This time around, the government hasn't held back, launching not one but two great state voucher rounds at the same time. Round five, which rolls out in September, is all about experiences, with $100 and $200 vouchers up for grabs just in time for the school holidays. From wildlife encounters to gin tours and weekend-long river cruises, there's something for everyone. Round six in October will focus on accommodation. $100 vouchers will be available for stays in the city and North Adelaide, with $50 incentives to book in the suburbs and regional areas. When somebody stays in the city, we know they might get a voucher for $100. We also know they're spending around $500, uh, whether that be in cafes, restaurants. For South Australians to have something to do, places to go, experiences, it's, yeah, it's um, amazing in a, in a challenging time. The first four rounds of the Great State vouchers injected around $64 million into the economy. And despite a lack of interstate and overseas visitors, there have been record occupancy levels at regional hotels for seven months. It actually brought South Australians to our region that hadn't visited before, which was just amazing. Uh, to have people come down and discover a part of their own state that they hadn't seen before was just brilliant. Another win for locals, these vouchers are only up for grabs for South Australians, with local businesses relying on on intrastate travel now more than ever. Harsh new lockdown measures will come into effect from midnight in New South Wales and police are warning they won't hold back. They vowed to come down hard on those breaking public health orders with harsher penalties than ever before. Well, we are just a few hours away now from what police admit is pretty well the biggest compliance operation the state of New South Wales has ever seen. And that, of course, has brought with it both condemnation and support. Overnight, a family of four, all infected with COVID, was uprooted from their home in Sydney's northwest on the basis of what's called a Section 62 order, where New South Wales Health has the authority to move them to a quarantine hotel if they believe there is a risk to the community. The family protested but eventually complied. They include two young children and a heavily pregnant mother, and they chronicled their trip to quarantine in Zetland, provided exclusively to Seven News. Either you get no, or you getting get locked up. Glee police station, my wife's pregnant. Look how they've got us sitting outside. Because the father has a criminal history, authorities suggested he could not be trusted, despite the fact he also had a history of complying with the health orders. Every She's time pregnant. authorities checked she he was at home, he was, including just several hours before they were evicted last night. Clinical physician never laid eyes on my client uh, or his wife or any of his children, yet he's happy to say that he's confident that my client's uh, will breach. Now, New South Wales Health says clinicians can be trusted to make those decisions. Now, the family's lawyer, Paul McGurr, though, says what troubles him is that this is overreach from authorities, he says, forcing people out of their home based only on a suspicion of what they might do. Australia's gold medal Olympic rowers have left quarantine in Sydney. They spent 14 days isolating after their sensational wins at Tokyo, which added four medals to our tally. We all sort of banded together and made it, tried to make it as easy as possible for each other. I feel like I've been in a little bubble the last couple of months and I just can't wait to see everyone. A number of other athletes are due to leave quarantine from Darwin's Howard Springs facility next week. And one of our homegrown Olympic heroes is finally back in South Australia after claiming gold in Tokyo. But as Tim Yateman reports, rower Alex Hill isn't quite free yet. It was an emotional return home for South Australia's member of the new awesome foursome. After two weeks in hotel quarantine in Sydney, this moment was a long time coming for 28-year-old Alex Hill. <laughs> Back on home soil after the ultimate success in Tokyo. Gold in the men's four. The Australians have done it. The gold medal is coming home. This morning's airport family reunion was very different. Alex unable to embrace family and friends due to COVID restrictions. His Sydney sojourn meaning another fortnight in isolation. It's just amazing being back, being back in God's country here in South Australia. So dear, super, super grateful to be back home. This was our goal and something we've worked, worked hard for, for for a fair few years now. So to be able to actually go over and achieve that was just, yeah, I still can't really describe it. We're very proud. We're very happy that he can be rewarded with what he's been like training so hard for. We're really excited to be able to catch up with him in two weeks' time and be able to give him a hug and be able to celebrate with him. After a three-hour drive, Hill returned home to Loxton, receiving a hero's welcome. Hello. Hello. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, yeah. 
Look at that. Now for two weeks in this cottage on the family farm. With the next Olympic Games only three years away, Alex hopes he and his teammates can defend their gold medal in Paris. And speaking of Olympics, it may be more than a decade away, but preparation is well and truly underway for the 2032 Brisbane Olympic Games. We'll bring you that story next. Plus, unbearable grief, our exclusive interview with the family of an Adelaide man shot dead in a forest, what they're now appealing for. And Australian troops are heading back to Afghanistan, the mission to save our own. That's next. On 7 News, a rude awakening in the early hours after a devastating arson attack out north. A million new Pfizer doses fast-tracked from Poland. They can't come soon enough. And Port's crushing victory puts them in the driver's seat for two home finals. They say the more you look after your body, the longer it will look after you. That's why I use Bioglan Curcumin every day. It's Australia's number one curcumin to relieve mild osteoarthritis symptoms. There's also Curcumin Plus pain relief for mild joint pain and Bioglan Curcumin Plus collagen for healthy joint cartilage production. So you can keep doing the things you love. Try Bioglan Curcumin. It's formulated for you and me. Your kitchen is more than just a place where you prepare food. It's where family comes together, which is why having a great kitchen is so important. A Farquhar kitchen is where the latest innovations, quality craftsmanship and good times come together. Farquhar, bringing family and friends together. For 72 hours only, save a massive 30% off store-wide at Spotlight. Yes, that's 30% off Manchester home decorating, fabric, sewing, craft, yarn, curtains, blinds and more store-wide. So decorate it, celebrate it and create it for less. Sale starts tomorrow. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. Australia, meet your new McCafe blend. Roasted and blended in Melbourne. Smoother, richer and crafted for Aussies who love great coffee. The new McCafe blend. Now that's coffee fit for an Aussie. Ready? Go! Start automated driving. Thanks, you. Toyota, start your impossible. This is Rob. He is a dentist. That's why he doesn't use just a toothpaste. He uses Oral-B gum and enamel because it neutralizes bacteria to revitalize your gums and strengthens your enamel for strong teeth and healthy gums. Gums, Rob, not guns. Oral-B. Van Gogh Alive, the world's most visited immersive multi-sensory experience, has arrived in Adelaide. On now for a strictly limited time. Book now at vangoalive.com.au Time away with family, reconnecting with friends, your own space at your own pace. This is the magic that is a Murray River houseboat getaway. Go to houseboatbookings.com to start your houseboat adventure. Evidence. So you've cracked it, Sarge? Uh-huh. Why so many Australians have been switching to Budget Direct? Because they could save hundreds? Yep. <laughs> and because of this, Budget Direct is Australia's most award-winning car and home insurer. That's all the evidence people need. Switch to Budget Direct, Money Magazine's Insurer of the Year. Five years in a row. Budget Direct. Insurance solved. This program brought to you by Drake's Supermarkets. Ingredients for every day, no matter what the day. Four years ago, the lives of Carmel and Harry Davenport were turned upside down when their 21-year-old son, Bailey, was fatally shot during a trip with friends to a forest south of Adelaide. I just felt like everything had just been ripped out of me. The Davin Sports have spoken exclusively to Seven News, calling for changes to the law after the man who shot their son walked free from court. Don't miss police reporter Hannah Ford's special report in the news at six o'clock. Well, ADF troops will return to the Middle East to evacuate Australians still in Afghanistan and locals who assisted our troops as Taliban forces head towards the country's capital. Political reporter Jennifer Beshwati has more from Canberra. 
Well, a highly classified mission is underway that will involve the removal of an expected hundreds of Australians and Afghani nationals who put their lives on the line to help us during the 20-year conflict. It comes two months since the last remaining ADF personnel left Afghanistan. The Taliban has now taken control of all major cities and regions in Afghanistan with fears the capital Kabul will fall within days and reports local forces are not putting up a fight. Here's Prime Minister Scott Morrison speaking at Parliament House this morning. Our thoughts and prayers indeed are with the people of Afghanistan. This task has the utmost urgency and priority of the government and of course has been considered at the highest levels of the government yesterday and we're in very constant engagement with our allies and partners as part of that broader effort. The United States is now deploying 5,000 troops to Afghanistan to assist well, the evacuation. You, uh, President Biden President. defended his decision to end the, the war, saying that one more year or five more years of US military presence would not have made a difference if the Afghan military cannot or will not hold its own country. Concerns now turn to the women and young girls who will face unspeakable atrocities at the hands of Taliban fighters. Former NRL star Sam Burgess has revealed he's now sober following a well-documented battle with drugs and alcohol which led to a 28-day stint in rehab. Burgess pleaded guilty after a roadside test found cocaine in his system back in February. In his first TV interview since then, the retired Rabbitohs captain says that charge was the straw that broke the camel's back. Well, now let's check in with ABBA on what's coming up in sport. Well, El the Crows had a crack this afternoon, but unfortunately for them and Port fans, they couldn't help Port's finals position. We'll have all the highlights as the underman Crows take it up to the high-flying Ds for most of the match. Unbelievably, power fans would have been barracking for the Crows. Meanwhile, Port Adelaide powered away to a huge win last night against Carlton. Can you believe they kicked the last 19 goals of the game and now have a double home finals chance in their hands? One of soccer's greatest gets a big welcome without even kicking a ball as he visits his new home. The fans have already embraced him. And while England captain Joe Root warmed up for the Ashes with another milestone, one Pom decided he'd try and help by impersonating an Indian player. And I tell you, he did a very good job. All that and plenty more coming up at six. Beauty, thanks, Abba. Well, there's a plan to stop paid parking at Westfield's Tea Tree Plaza shopping complex. Those details are coming up next. And later, hundreds of people feared dead in an earthquake tragedy. Are you okay? It's just false contractions. I get them all the time. And how far along are you? What's going on? Something's come up. If you went into labour at 40,000 feet, you'd scream too. Ah! Looks like you're having this baby up here. Oh my God, I'm not ready. Heart stopping. Australian drama RFDS Wednesday after nurses on 7 Take me home loan Thank you Monica Okay bank what's your perfect match Someone who takes things slow someone who enjoys being tied up in decades of debt uh, And Athena something short and sweet someone who wants to pay off their home loan faster That's why the more you pay off your loan the more we automatically lower your rate uh, No one pays off their loan not with you. That's the plan. <laughs> to pay off your home loan faster, visit athena.com.au. Love us and leave us. It goes lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the highlight. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. So many different things to do. No time for hay fever. Get back to life fast with Zyrtec. No hay fever tablet works faster. Origin Internet is for the impatient. Yep, we're for the ones who cook their two-minute noodles for a minute and a half. The ones who just can't wait. So don't. The ones who watch the 100 metres in Fast Forward. And most of all, Origin Internet has plans for the ones who demand fast speeds with next day NBN connection when they sign up before 1pm. Or they'll claim up to $100 credit per day, including GST, until it is Origin, where all good change starts. 
Right now, you can get the hard-working T60 4x4 diesel auto from just $39.90. It's a deal so good, you'll feel like you're getting away with something. Limited stock. Visit an LDV dealer today. One in three Aussies don't know their neighbours. Oh, yes, thanks. Sorry about that. It just fell out of my hand. Yet 62% believe we should help our neighbours more. If there was ever a time to be kinder to one another, it's now. Because when we spread kindness... Hey guys, come on, I'm leaving. It goes further than we think. Helga's kindness is good for us. Well, Mike and Rosanna are here now with a look ahead of what's coming up at six, guys. Yes, Earl, well, we're still at the crossroads. The COVID crossroads, Pfizer bookings open here tomorrow for the under-40s. A million doses are landing in Australia tonight from Poland. But don't hold your breath, Sydney's dire needs are greater than ours. Now, ask any parent about the frustration of a child who doesn't sleep soundly. It looks a bit weird, but we may have the answer. No one will want to miss that. And how the great outdoors could be the new fountain of youth for our ageing population. I can see you two looking at me when I say that. <laughs> and Port seems unstoppables, unstoppable as the finals approach. And is it goodbye to the much-loved Eddie Betts? So, Elle, we'll be back at six. Thanks, guys. Well, Labor is ramping up its opposition to the introduction of paid parking at Tea Tree Plaza. It's hoping to fast-track legislation prohibiting fees at suburban centres unless they're approved by the local council. And it's going to be up to the Liberals to decide whether or not they back local communities when it comes to stopping paid parking or are they going to back Westfield for yet another money grab. Westfield wants to install ticketed boom gates to charge customers who park there for longer than three hours. Well, what spectacular weather we've had this weekend. Let's check in with Gertie now, who's in North Adelaide tonight. Gertie, it was a perfect day for keen runners. It was, Elwin. With the Adelaide Marathon Festival next weekend, participants seize the opportunity to turn the legs over today. You can still register online for the 5K, 10K, half marathon and full marathon events. Now, in the city today, it was 7.6 degrees, around a quarter past six this morning. By 10 o'clock, it warmed up to 15. We hit a top of 17.8 at three this afternoon. Currently, it's 15 degrees. It was mild and sunny in Melbourne today and in Sydney too. Right now, it's 16 there. Hobart's had 12 millimetres of rain. It's currently just 6 degrees. We could see a light shower here tomorrow, but I'll have more on that in the full forecast next hour, Elle. Thank you, Gertie. Well, there are still around 4,000 days until the opening ceremony of the 2032 Olympics in Brisbane, but the planning has already started. Those details next. And Elton John surprises beachgoers with an impromptu performance while on holiday. Spectacular Sunday. It's just phenomenal. The Blind Auditions. People may know my brother, Nick Kyrgios. Just keep getting better. She was amazing. She always is. And the moment Australia's been waiting for is here. incredible night. Before I make a decision, I have a much bigger decision oh my God. for someone else to make. The Voice, tonight at 7 on 7. Nespresso Virtuo. You can now make your coffee with a double shot, just like cafes do, from just a single Nespresso capsule. From creamy lattes to irresistible cappuccinos with the most exceptional quality roast and ground coffee. Enjoy true cafe strength coffee from the comfort of your home. Nespresso Virtuo. No barista required. Nespresso, what else? The new Tiguan. Goodbye road fears. Hello confidence. Volkswagen. Would you put your home in the hands of someone interstate or overseas? Neither would we. Our security monitoring is right here in SA. Trust the only locally owned and operated monitoring centre. Clark Security. Trust a local.
Is your difficult block holding your family outdoor living back? At Adelaide Retaining Walls, we work with you to maximise your usable space. Whether it's a new build, extra space or a replacement renovation, we work with you to visualise and install your dream design. Adelaide Retaining Walls are experts for a range of projects, from small backyards to huge designs with major building companies. Call now to speak with our team of experts. Adelaide Retaining Walls, creative solutions that stand the test of time. The new Tiguan. Goodbye road fears. Hello confidence. Volkswagen. Sunboost, your savings. Australia's largest solar company with over 3,400 five-star ratings is offering best value 6.6 .6 kilowatt family saver package for an unbeatable 3291. And up to 50,000 in lifetime savings. Hurry ends August 31. Call 1300 Sunboost. You could be in the middle of something, but when that moment arrives, you just know. Discover your Mazda moment at the Mazda Moment mid-season event and get a great deal across the range. Search Mazda offers and visit your dealer today. I wasn't able to do something that I loved because of my foot pain. I wasn't able to go on hike. I got these arch supports years ago and they are still really helping and still making such a difference. See for yourself with a free personalised arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. This program brought to you by Santos Natural Gas, proudly Australian made. Well, it may be more than a decade away, but preparations are well and truly underway ahead of the 2032 Brisbane Olympic Games. The stakes are high for Queensland, keen to cement its position in world sporting history. Here's Georgia Terry. It's 4,000 days until the opening ceremony of the 2032 Olympics, but here in Brisbane, planning has already started. Today, the Queensland Premier and Brisbane Lord Mayor together for the first time since their successful Tokyo campaign. It was wonderful to be over in Tokyo with the Lord Mayor uh, to secure the Olympics for Brisbane and Queensland in 2032. We went there with one aim in mind and that was to secure this event for Brisbane and for Queensland. And if we hadn't have gone, we may not have got it. More than 84% of venues are already complete. The Gabba is one venue which will undergo a major makeover, but there are now talks of a new landmark for the River City. There have been calls for something similar to the Sydney Opera House, recognisable across the globe. For my two cents worth, I think they need to be functional. They need to be uh, an asset for the community on an ongoing basis. The mascot for the Games hasn't been named yet, but the big pineapple on the Sunshine Coast could be a front runner. There's a race for uh, mascots at the moment. That's a, that's a matter for down the track a little bit. Um, there's a lot to be planning and there's a lot to be talking about, uh, but I, I just think this is all a sign of the excitement that people have. The 2032 Olympic Games are expected to cost around $5 billion. A controversial proposal to use lethal force against magpies in Queensland has been shot down by Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk. It comes after the tragic death of a five-month-old baby girl in Brisbane, fatally injured after her mother fell while trying to avoid a swooping bird. At least 300 people are believed to have died and hundreds more are missing after an earthquake in Haiti. As US correspondent Tim Lester reports, the disaster comes at a perilous time for the Caribbean nation. From the US president today, a promise of help for an impoverished Caribbean neighbour. This after a magnitude 7.2 earthquake flattened buildings, killed hundreds and left a whole new challenge for Haiti. The violence of an earthquake. These videos believed to show deadly seconds vidi, vidi, vidi. as the quake hit western towns on the island. Then at least nine aftershocks, centred just over 100 kilometres west of the capital Port-au-Prince and more powerful than a 2010 earthquake that killed an estimated quarter of a million Haitians. From the rubble, panicked cries. <laughs> the destruction coming on top of a political crisis from last month's assassination of its president and an emerging weather threat, a tropical storm two days away. This, Haiti's Prime Minister, heading to view the damage. I will evaluate it, he says. I'm told there is a lot. People dead, 
hospitals and infrastructure collapsed. Sir Elton John has surprised beachgoers in Cannes with a performance of his new song Cold Heart while holidaying in France. The track features English singer Dua Lipa and was remixed by Aussie dance group Pinyao. What a treat for those beachgoers. Well, now it's time for 7 News at 6 with Mike and Rosanna. Tonight, Van